With the advancement of technology in the last 27 years ever since Tupac passed, the police are now finding new evidence about his passing, but it is very strange. As when you compare the evidence of him being alive to the police records of him passing, there is definitely something missing. And it begins with a rapper named Tretch. In 2010, Tretch was interviewed on the topic of Tupac before a show. Tretch and Tupac were very close friends back in the day, and they even worked on a few albums together. But here's where things get strange. After Tretch's interview, the cameraman for got to stop recording. He placed his camera onto the ground and in the footage, you can hear the interviewer asking Tretch about Tupac, to which Tretch responds, last time I saw him, he was in Cuba. So if you ain't ready for it, get on the sidewalk. One last question. Mm -hmm. Nobody <laughs> knows. <laughs> 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 Then just three weeks later, a video would be released from a news website showing a video of Tupac supposedly chilling in a parking lot in Cuba. As Suge Knight even also agrees to Tupac being alive and well. He has said so in so many interviews over the course of two decades now. An interview from Suge Knight would make a very convincing case towards him still being here, as Tupac was allegedly doing fine in the hospital before his passing, as stated by Suge Knight himself. I mean, when I left that hospital, me and Pac was laughing and choking. So I don't see how somebody can turn from doing well to doing bad. So you and seriously think that he might still be alive? I'm gonna tell you this, Pac, you never know. But what's weird about this is that Tupac was supposedly in a deep sleep. So how in the world would he and Suge be laughing and joking if Tupac was sleeping? It doesn't really seem to add up, but in 2008, Suge Knight would stand on business and even say the exact same thing as he said. Tupac was alive and that he is well. So he he was conscious on the way to the hospital. <laughs> he was conscious on the way to the hospital. He was conscious in the ambulance. He was conscious after, uh, after they did the surgery. What was the last thing that he said to you? They love me. However, this time after that interview, two weeks later, when Suge would leak this information during the interview, he almost lost his life at a nightclub when a man used a firearm in his direction six times. However, in the moment, Knight knew that this had something to do with Tupac, so he was hesitant to tell the police anything. However, Suge Knight Jr. would also make the same mistake. Son of the famous Suge Knight in 2018 would post to his Instagram to state that Tupac was alive and well and living in Malaysia. Similar to his dad, somebody would retaliate against him, as he would end up posting another photo to his Instagram showing a text conversation where someone said, you said too much, it's now time for you to go. Suge Knight Jr. would then start panicking, posting several photos of Tupac alongside modern day celebrities such as 50 Cent and Beyonce, and he also made it look like someone was going after him for leaking all this info. As on the photo with Tupac and Beyonce, he would caption it and I quote, he never left us, but they'll be after me soon. Some believe that this was a publicity stunt for Suge Jr. to gain social media clout, but others believe that it was factual. Because if there was someone to know more information on Tupac, it would likely be Suge Knight's son. However, the recent evidence found in 2024 has actually changed everything. Sources are even claiming that Snoop Dogg is also being investigated for having involvement now, as it would be announced, breaking Snoop Dogg arrested in question to Tupac Shakur's passing, the police are questioning his recent interview. As Snoop Dogg was recently invited onto a podcast where he would reveal that he was actually supposed to be there on the night that Tupac passed and he was supposed to be in the vehicle that they were driving in. You were with Tupac though, in regards to Tupac. Did you, I heard a story, did you give him different advice that night on where to go? I didn't give him no advice. Right. We wasn't seeing eye to eye. Right. So. Same during the Tyson. Yeah, we, this was, this is, this is it that I'm explaining to you right now was the day before that. Okay. So when they got to Vegas, they went their way, I went back. I mean, when we got to LA, they went to Vegas and I went home. That's why I wasn't in the car, isn't in the car with them. The police are questioning on why Snoop didn't get into that vehicle and why he changed his mind last minute. Did Snoop know something was gonna happen as he was very tapped into the streets heavily in 1996? So the real question is, did he know something was about to go down? Now, according to the new police reports about Tupac's passing, something has gotta be missing. As recently, the police arrested a man named Keefe D in connection to the crime. For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest 
of 60 year old Dwayne Keith Davis, AKA Keefe D of Tupac Shakur. Davis was arrested this morning by my LVMPD criminal apprehension team. And this investigation started on the night of September 7th, 1996. It has taken countless hours, really decades of work by the men and women of our section to get to where we are today. As on September 7th, 1996, Tupac was in Las Vegas with the head of his record label named Suge Knight. The two were off to the MGM Grand to watch a Mike Tyson match as after it was over, they ended up spotting an op inside of the lobby of the hotel. Suge Knight and their entourage went to the Mike Tyson, the MGM Grand. Keefe D and his nephew, Orlando Lane Anderson, and two of their friends were also there. Keefe D told LAPD detective Greg Kading more than a decade ago in a proffer that couldn't be used against him. The thing was retaliation after Tupac jumped Orlando and him up at the casino. Surveillance cameras recorded the fight. Tupac was angry that Lane had stolen his necklace years prior in Compton. Tupac, Suge Knight, and the entourage left the casino quickly. Security would go on to break up the altercation between Tupac and the ops, causing Tupac and Suge to go back to their hotel room to change their clothes. Then getting ready to go off to the club, they began driving there at around 11 p.m. Once stopped at a red light, it would all go down right in the middle of the street. Here's new about Tupac's concert at the club 662 members, including Orlando and Keith D, jumped in their white Cadillac and started cruising the strip looking for the offender. Before long, they finally spotted Tupac's caravan. At the intersection of East Flamingo Boulevard and Koval Lane, the white Cadillac pulled alongside the black BMW with Suge on the driver and Tupac on the passenger seats. The back window of the Cadillac rolled twice in the chest, once in the arm, once in the thigh. With the advancement of technology over the last two decades, the police are now able to answer more questions that they had several years ago. It all begins with the police investigating a concerning interview by a man named Keefe D, where he would literally detail the moments of finding Tupac on the street and pulling up on him. And uh, Bubble Up was a driver, and uh, Baby Lane and Freaky were in the back seat. We were just all in the car again. Okay. Uh, this was the white Cadillac. Yeah. So you guys are driving around, and then you hear these girls say, Tupac, Tupac. Got to the light, he was to go uh, drink, and he happened to be hanging out the window. He was hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac? Yeah, he was. So what happens next? You said that as you're driving up towards the, towards the BMW, with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat. He would also go on to explain that the entire altercation practically started because Tupac was reaching for his firearm. The people inside of his van saw that and they ended up retaliating before Tupac got it up. You said that as you're driving up towards the, towards the BMW with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat and you said that Tupac pulled out a- It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Did you actually No, I was Once you got the region, I got the ducking. So, someone from your car That's what happened. Sorry. At Tupac and Shook. These are very bold claims to make in an interview where you just met DJ Vlad in. He was very skeptical, so he wanted some proof. Keefe D would then supply him with a never-before-seen police interrogation on the night of the crime. Lane starts to... Um, you say Shook looks over, he sees you. Yeah. He looks right at you? Yeah, he looks at me. Okay. When he looks over at you, and then, you know, Tupac's busy getting shot. Evidently, the story is Tupac's trying to either get out He's of the back seat or something. something. Yeah, what do you see happening inside of their car? I see him going shit again. I thought he was. I thought he was. So Orlando comes and start across Dre. He leaned over on the window. We rolled down the window. As this now confirms his involvement in the crime as well as proves that he was actually there. In a separate DJ Vlad interview, he would then go on to ask KVD his reaction to Tupac's passing, to which he had to go and say, Yeah, I just, I hate that happened, dog. You know, I, I really do, man. Because if they'll, they'll, a lot of people lie, you do. I hate that shit happened. Probably God. I feel they, you know, they should, that, that was wrong, man. It was just wrong, purity wrong. You know what I'm saying? I wish it never happened. 
You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion on it. It's it never happened, dude. You know what I'm saying? I lost my Colombian plug. You know what I'm saying? Had to been having the fans up for 15 years. Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't catch a break, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I did time for it. Before doing any of the DJ Vlad interviews, Keefe D wasn't really known at all. However, this is why it is so weird that he actually released an entire book on being involved in his passing titled Compton Street Legend a few years ago. In the book, he literally hints towards doing the crime and being there. So why is he now just being arrested for it after decades? Fans believe that it's a cover-up that Tupac is still alive.